Hi, it's me, the Acros for Fun. Today's video, I'll be talking about my personal favorite plant. It's the Hygrophila pinativida. I'll be talking multiple points about this plant. If you have any specific questions, just look through the description box. I've laid out a time code for it. So if you have any specific question in mind, just skip through and watch. Okay, like every other plant species spotlight, let's talk about its appearance. Hygrophila pinatifida is a very well-known plant for its serrated like leaves. The leaves can differ from dark green to a brownish color, and some species even have a pinkish to reddish color. This plant originated in India and has been in the hobby for more than a decade. Plant requirements. Hagrophila pinatifida is considered a medium category plant. A medium category plant requires a decent light and decent CO2 as well as decent fertilizers. And since I've talked about the plant's requirements, I'm going to start out with the biggest obstacle that you'll encounter when handling this plant. Hagrophila pinatifida melting. Okay, so this is going to be from my personal account because I've had problems with my Hygrophila pinitifida from the very beginning. Okay, what I did with it was I glued it to my Redmore wood and after a week or so, it started melting. Stems started melting, some leaves started degrading, some leaves just fall off. So, how did I solve that problem? This was of big help. What I did was I gently brushed through the plant and if the leaf falls off, I'm just gonna remove it. This will help the plant focus its resources and help save what's savable. Fertilization, initially I used Easy Life Profito, but turns out it doesn't have two of the three macros that every plant should have, which is nitrogen and phosphorus. After a few weeks, I was able to cycle this tank and I've added my fishes. With fish food and fish poop, it was able to supplement the plant's requirements for nitrogen and phosphorus. So my fishes somehow saved the plant as well. And on its third week, that's when I upgraded my light. If you wanna know more about my lights, I'm gonna be linking that video as well up here on the cards or in the description below. Initially, I didn't have any CO2 setup for this tank, but when I saw the Hygrophila pinitifida melting, I started using the IY CO2. And after a month or so, I upgraded to a pressurized CO2. And the last tip I can give for your Hygrophila pinitifida melting is patience. You just have to be patient with this plan and it's gonna pay off. So let's summarize the things I did. I removed the dead leaves, I gave it proper nutrition, I upgraded my lights, and added CO2, and lastly, patience. Okay, so hopefully that will help with your Hygrophila pinatifida melting. Okay, so how do you plant Hygrophila pinatifida? Just like what I said with the Hydrocotyl tripartita video that I did right here, Hygrophila pinatifida is pretty much the same. You can plant it on soil and you can use it as an epiphyte. If it's planted on soil, the roots will have an easy access to the nutrients available. So if you plant it on soil, it's going to grow vertically. But if you're going to plant it as an epiphyte, root structures will start to come out and it's going to feed on the water column, just like mine. If you do plant your Hygrophila pinatifida as an epiphyte, you're going to need to have liquid fertilizers because liquid fertilizers will be much readily available in the water column wherein your plant roots are. Another topic for this plant is propagation. Like I've said earlier, Hygrophila pinatifida sends out runners. So on its own, when given decent light, CO2, and nutrients, it can spread. But if you want to propagate it manually, you can easily trim the stem and with that trimming, you can just plant it somewhere or attach it to any hardscape. My personal recommendation is if you're planning to propagate it and use it as an epiphyte, using the trimmings, you should initially plant it on soil, let it grow its roots, and then attach it to your hardscape and use it as an epiphyte. That way, it already has an established root structure that can feed off from the water column. Hygrophila pinitifida, can it be grown immersed? Yes, Hygrophila pinitifida can be grown immersed. So, I can easily recommend Hygrophila pinitifida if you're planning to have a shallow tank. Speaking of a shallow tank, I'm planning to make my own shallow tank using Hygrophila pinitifida with this one. So if you don't want to miss out, I suggest you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are always updated with the latest upload. So all in all, that's Hygrophila pinatifida for you. 
Hopefully I was able to help you with your Hagrophila Pintifida or to help you decide if you do want one. So that's it for me. I'm the Aquas for fun. Bye.